Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for the beginning of August. Okay, we're going to start off with some, uh, let's see, your energies, right? We're going to start off with your recent past, your current energies, and your near future, okay? We're also going to get some clarifiers and oracles out here. We're going to finish off your reading with some messages from whomever you're thinking about or whoever's in your energy, okay? mode you're really trying hard not to go into hermit mode or your person is right now um i'm gonna start doing like a you versus them type of thing right i kind of want to do that That's, that'd be really cool cool Leo Sagittarius that I'm getting here, okay? All right, so at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands, right? So there's that, like, creature comfort, not creature comfort, that compassion that you have, okay? Kind of like that courage, the passion, there you go. Why does it say compassion? I have no idea. Maybe you're a very compassionate Scorpio. Okay, um... So here in your recent past, I do see here where, you know, you're standing your ground, right? Um, you're standing your ground towards like, a, I don't know, whatever it is for your decision, I'm, I'm guessing, or you're standing your ground against this person or the decisions that they've made, okay? This is bringing a lot of rest and relaxation, kind of like you want to back up, you want to back away, you backed up from whatever was going on, okay? This brought you into solitude Virgo mode. Virgo mode. <laughs> Virgo energy, okay? <laughs> um, so yeah, here with the Ten of Wands, right now, your current energy is like, you're not taking on responsibilities that are not yours anymore, okay? You did your job. You did, you, you put in the work, right? So now it's like, okay, you're letting all these burdens down and it's just like, um, no, I'm not taking in your burdens. So that's, it is what it is, right? But this page of cups, it's like, uh, a, a love, not necessarily a love offer. <laughs> it's not necessarily a love offer, but it does show me here, Scorpio, where it's kind of like, <laughs> the beginning like the whole the center of your reading is based off of this offer this kind of like you don't know what's in that cup right and you see how this page is like hiding hiding what's in there right they're like oh yeah you, Scorpio's not gonna see for sure for sure right <laughs> or you could be dealing with like another water sign right you could be dealing with another Scorpio you could be dealing with an with the um with the Cancer or Pisces <laughs> So I do see here that this two of pentacles, it, it's kind of like this partnership that's going to bring a lot of success, okay? You guys could have been successful, but that like romance was not there. Even though you see it like from this aspect, it's kind of like you want love in your life. In your near future here, you're going to be making a decision, right? You're going to be planning. You're going to be making a decision, um, whatever it is, or your person could be making a decision to come forth towards you. This wheel of fortune, let's, we're going to clarify in a bit, like, where is it going to turn in your favor or not, right? So here with the devil, uh, there is like materialism, right? You're kind of like focusing on your coin, your, your pentacle, or it could be your person, right? And there's like temptations coming in as well. So let's clarify. Yeah, you're standing your ground because of healing, Aquarius energy, okay? Um, with this four swords. Yeah, so while you're resting, you're manifesting as well. You that gave you all the tools. So hermit mode also helped you go into uh the king of cups, which is kind of like okay, where you had your feelings and your thoughts into balance, where there was an equilibrium. Okay, this is why this is like when you can't you took initiative to be like, uh uh, these burdens, these responsibilities are not mine, okay? It was your shadow side that was like, you know what, you know, no more. So yeah, your person or you could be focusing on what remains instead of what was lost, okay? There's no use in Christ's overspilled milk. It could have been that offer that's being presented to you that, uh-uh, no. So 
yeah, that passion that you guys had success, like, it's not romance, right? It wasn't necessarily romance right now, but it's, like, it's that passion that's still there, okay? Um, but I do feel here, Scorpio, that you're seeking out, uh, oh, my nose is itchy. Ooh, my nose started getting so itchy, you guys. Okay. <sighs> um, man, it's, <laughs> ooh, it's so itchy, like, my nostrils, like, the sides on the outside. Ooh, okay. Um, I feel like I just sniffed pepper, I don't know, or like cayenne pepper or like it just, I, I don't even have like allergies and I just feel like I do. Um, <laughs> so, so yeah, making decision, this is your creature comforts, right? It's going to be like comforting to you in the near future. Yeah, I do see here, like you're starting to look for romance. Okay, more or less. Let's see what this wheel yeah, generosity of spirit. Spirit is starting to turn the wheel for you just because you've been dwelling into the situation a long time. So yeah, that success. That success is coming in. Whoa. That success is coming in. That death. Scorpio, that transformation, right? It's happening for you, not to you. So yeah, let's see. Let's get some romance oracles out here for Scorpio. I guess there's oh okay so release your exes in there oh okay so let go of control issues so one of y'all has control issues okay allow the situation to unfold naturally um also you know like spying could be happening here too Look, I'm going to be honest with you, Scorpio. Even looking at tarot readings is spying because you more or less want to see what the inner, what is like what's going on with your person, right? So you're, you're, you may be like, no, I'm not even looking at their social media. No, I'm not seeing what they're up to. Uh, yeah, you are. This is their energy that you're looking into. <laughs> so you deserve love. You are lovable, right? Ooh. And very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you. Remember, um, when you're asking for your manifestations, when you're manifesting, you want to be clear and concise of what you want, okay? It's kind of like when you're asking for a laptop, right? And you get, like, a green laptop, and you're like, what? Like, I asked for a pink laptop specifically. No, you didn't, fam. Like, you just asked for a laptop, okay? So this is kind of like you want to be very descriptive of what you want. Oh, even though you're manifesting this person back or you're manifesting communication if you're with this person right now your person it's kind of like you want to be very detailed okay um yeah so your transformation is uh it's going to help you out it's going to help you um kind of like start to manifest better i feel and i feel like you're bringing this person back if you guys are in separation honestly you you can lie to me all you want but you know my cards never lie so, never-ending story. 37 could mean of great significance. Wow. This is you. It's like, what the f Like, what do I do? I don't even know what to do right now, okay? So, it's like self-criticism, um, <laughs> wounded ego, and drama, okay? It could have been like... This is the baggage that this person brought. Maybe it's not for everybody, okay? But you love them, right? Or it could be like where there's this passion. This passion, oh, bottom of the deck, soulmates. 41 could mean of great significance for you. I know a card for me. Let me get it. Ooh, imagine. So, yeah, manifestation pretty much. Um, Turning imagination into manifestation. Yeah, so you manifested this person back or they manifested to come back with a reconciliation but remember you want to let go of control issues focus in the now focus on right now focus on you don't focus on the past don't focus don't focus on the future okay don't stress over it Ooh, an autumn right <laughs> so uh this kind of like coming back of your person could be in autumn at the end of autumn so kind of like um yeah uh, concealment but you know they're kind of like hiding this from you okay if we are with this person right now it's kind of like <laughs> they're gonna start bringing up like issues not issues like in a bad way but they're kind of like, start confronting like themselves okay they might not tell you okay if you're living with this person whoever's in your energy but they're kind of like <sighs> you know what I'm gonna start putting in the work. They're not gonna tell you necessarily, okay? You could be more spiritual than they are. Obviously, you're reading, a, you're you're watching a tarot reading on YouTube, um, but <laughs> it's kind of like 
your person wants to do the work because they want to move forward into the next chapter of your life with you and they want you to be there with them too in the next chapter of their life so if this is with the people with whomever you're with right now okay and as far as um if you guys are in separation I do feel like <sighs> Like that romance is not there and they're starting to realize that, wow, like this is all about passion, you know, and they're starting to think like, how can I make this romantic gesture come about? Okay, so they're pretty like premature about it too, okay, like because they're, they, they're showing up right now as a page, okay, they really don't know much about romance. This could have been like what you wanted before and they just couldn't fulfill that cup, okay, so it's kind of like spirit wants you guys to uh fill in your own cups make your let your own cups overflow before you start pouring into one another's cup right because what are you guys gonna do with two empty cups you ain't gonna do shit like you're not gonna do <laughs> you're not gonna do anything with two empty cups right what are you gonna do just like hit them with one another that passion right okay so messages from your person oh man Oof. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. You guys got like a fat stack. Okay, so you mean the world to me? Do you miss me? Daydreaming. I wish I had treated you better. Hello, this is the person that you guys are in separation with for some of you. You're the one. I can't change what happened. I think about the good times. Nobody compares to you. Karma is a bitch. I finally got mine. <laughs> I have your picture saved in my phone. I feel like a ticking time bomb. Don't give up on us. I miss your hugs. Aww. I held a grudge against you for no reason. Connect with me in the 5D. So this is like both for the people who are with your person um, or you're in separation, okay? The energies like are still strong between both of you. I feel you leaving me behind. It's all my fault. We will be together again. So for those of you who with your person, it's kind of like how you guys once were, okay? When you guys like first met, I feel, okay? I didn't throw your stuff out. <laughs> it really was me, not you. I am afraid to contact you. I miss your cooking. Ooh, can you guys invite me when you cook? I just have to do something else right now. Please try and understand. Your energy was always powerful. Of course, Scorpio's always transforming. Hello. Whoa, okay. This might be for a few of you in separation, okay? I need to release my ex before coming to you. Our connection still affects me. Look at that bold letters. I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I am here for you always. And you inspire me. Oh. That's so cute. Okay, so Scorpio, this has been your reading uh, for the beginning of August, okay? If you made it this far, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, okay? And let me know down below if this resonates with you, okay? Because I want to know everybody's juicy, juicy stories, okay? And like, I really want to know whose energies I'm tapping into because <laughs> it kind of like scares me sometimes. Like, I'll be thinking of these like rando thoughts and I'm like, that's not my energy. <laughs> So, yeah, okay, don't forget to stay positive, be positive. You are positive, okay, Scorpio? See you soon.